So I've been experiencing these, what I can only describe as time slips. This is notes that I've been writing on a post-it and on the bathroom mirror that I, I don't even remember writing and I have no idea what it even means. Josh thinks I'm crazy. And Brian thinks I'm hallucinating. I don't know, maybe they're both right. Maybe I am. Crazy cast. Crazy cast gone totally mental. I just... I'm gonna go see Brian's dad. Maybe he can help figure this out. upset with me, but I need to talk. Professor Deckard? Walking? What are you doing here? I have to say the same thing about you, Einstein. It's not honking, okay? That was cute when I was 12. It's Fuhan now. It means broad-minded. Of course it does. Professor Deckard's not here. Really? He's supposed to be tutoring me. Are you helping him with all those equations in there? Yeah. Dude's obsessed. Causality, field containment. Large body entanglement, particle pairs. You know how he gets. Yeah, never like this. How long has he been working on it? Don't know. He only called me a couple days ago. Seemed really impatient. Like the whole world was gonna frack if we didn't figure it out. He did it.
That was quick. Brian? So to take a swim on your walk? You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what did you put in that pot we smoked? I feel like I just dropped acid. Baby, we didn't smoke anything. Don't mess with me, Brian. <laughs> I'm not. Look, I mean, we haven't scored in over a month, Cassie. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, it's weird. I, it's deja vu or something. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. Sandra, what have you done? Ugh! You were dead, Brian. Bled out on the bed. And then there was this weird vibration, and it went from night to day. There has to be some sort of explanation. Yeah, it's called hallucination. It wasn't hallucinating. It was real, like... I don't know, like I was walking through some alternate reality or experiencing the future or something. In an ice bath. Yes, in an ice bath. You do realize how ridiculous that sounds, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, I know. OK, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm not making this up, Brian. I know, baby. But aren't you at least happy that I'm not dead? I am happy that you're not dead. I am, but what I saw really scared me. I don't plan on getting shot anytime soon. Although maybe you should talk to someone. Who, a shrink? Probably would help. But in this case, I was actually talking about the, uh, the captain of paranormal activity. Yeah, I know, but your father is still mad at me. Look, even he yeah. understands that you had to take care of your mom, right? Not the last time I talked to him. I'm just saying, I mean, it couldn't hurt to consult the resident expert on weird. Quantum mechanics isn't weird. 
Oh, yeah, it is. It's weird. It's not weird. Oh, it's super weird. Creepy weird. Ice bath weird. You're weird. I know, but quantum physics is weirder. Your father is a genius, Brian. Cut him some slack. Didn't I say the same thing about your dad? The smartest jerk you know. Isn't that what you always say about him? Yeah, well, mine left. And mine didn't. But at least we connected over the fact that we both dislike each other. And there happens to be one person who he actually likes and speaks highly of. And that thesis you wrote and the genius of it. Yeah, well, sometimes life gets in the way. Where am I? A safe place. I know this is difficult. I want to help you. I'll let your shock helps. Do you remember the procedure? What else? What do you remember about the hotel? Come on, try harder. I need a shower. I'm gonna need more from you first. Brian Chance. You do remember Brian, hmm? Who the hell are you? Why am I here? It was an accident. He had a gun. Ah! It's, all, it's all right, Cassie, Cassie, calm down. You're safe now. It's all right. No. What did you see? What did you remember? No. What did you see? No, 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 no. Shh, shh, shh. Calm down. No, no, stay away from me. Stay away. Cassie, Cassie look at me. Where's look Brian? at me. Where's Brian? Look, look at me. I'm you don't get away from me! me. I'm not gonna have... No, you get away from me! Get away from me! Where's Brian? It's all right. It's Where all right. is Brian? Come on, Cassie. Come on, Cassie. What are you doing? Stop! God, I was just getting somewhere with her. Dagger wants to see you. Yeah, of course he does. of time. What did you say? Brian? 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 Brian, stop messing around!
Brian? Brian, where are you? Please call me back. Hey, Cass. Josh. Long time, how are you? Hey. What's going on? Something's... Something's really weird. Can you meet me at RJ's? You remember? Yeah, that I remember. Perfect. You okay? You look a little. I woke up in an ice bath, Josh. I have no idea how I got there. And then Brian was dead? And the sun changed in the sky. Keep your voice down. And I found this. The weirdness factor is off the scale. Like therapeutic hypothermia is used sometimes with cardiac arrest patients. You have a heart attack. I'm a little young for that, don't you think? It happens. Brian's got that mitral valve issue, right? Of course, there is one other explanation. Don't start. Okay, grief and guilt can cause a lot. I am not guilty of anything, Josh. At least not yet, anyway. Maybe you need to let it go, Cass. Okay, you can't keep spinning in regret all your life. Watching your mother die kind of changes you forever, Josh. There wasn't even time to grant her final wish. I was too busy doing whatever else it was that I was doing. She wanted to see the ocean one last time. I couldn't even give her that. And not even get me started on my bastard father. So, Brian. My boyfriend. Yes. Our anniversary. Very good. What else? Someone's breaking the rules. Which rules? You know. You tell me about that. What's it matter? Done is done, there's no changing it. Well, that's rather agnostic for a quantum theorist. Okay. So let's go back to the hotel. What was Brian really doing there? Stealing from me. <laughs> Why would he do that? Schoolwork. What kind of schoolwork? Physics. Quantum entanglement. And? Particle pairs. Very good. Now we're getting somewhere. Proximity effect. Probability diffraction. Particle pairs destroy themselves in a vacuum almost instantaneously. Makes time travel impossible. But what if there was a way to, to, to stabilize that vacuum? Align the pairs? No. It's too dangerous, it would cause a doomsday event. And no one's figured out how to do it yet. Ah. Oh. But someone has.
What? That guy at the counter keeps staring at me here. It's freaking me out. You want me to go talk to him? No, no, no. I'm probably just being paranoid. I just I feel like someone is messing with me. Maybe you're messing with yourself. What is that supposed to mean? I'm not guilty of anything yet. What's that supposed to mean? I still feel his blood on my hands, Josh. It's horrible. Why would someone kill Brian? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe I am losing it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, this is really freaking me out. This is on the mirror in there. Somebody's idea of graffiti? I... This is my handwriting, Josh. I don't know what this is, Cass. <laughs> Look, maybe you're suffering from some kind of fugue state, okay? Or delirium, or something. Okay, I... Thanks for the tea. Cass, Cass. Thank you. Wait, wait. Hey, guys. I haven't vlogged in a while, but some really weird shit has been happening that I feel like you should know about. So I've been experiencing these, what I can only describe as time slips. These notes that I've been writing on a post-it and on the bathroom mirror that I, I don't even remember writing and I have no idea what it even means. Josh thinks I'm crazy. And Brian thinks I'm hallucinating. I don't know, maybe they're both right. Maybe I am. Crazy cast, crazy cast gone totally mental. I'm gonna go see Brian's dad. Maybe he can help figure this out. Professor, it's Cassie Sinclair. Are you home? Professor! <laughs> Professor, I know you're probably upset with me, but I need to talk. Professor Deckard?
talking? What are you doing here? I could say the same thing about you, Einstein. It's not honking, okay? That was cute when I was 12. It's Fuhan now. It means broad-minded. Of course it does. Professor Deckard's not here. Really? He's supposed to be tutoring me. Are you helping him with all those equations in there? Yeah. Dude's obsessed. Causality, field containment, large body entanglement, particle pairs. You know how he gets. Yeah, never like this. How long has he been working on it? Don't know. He only called me a couple days ago. He seemed really impatient. Like the whole world was gonna frack if we didn't figure it out. He did it. Did what? Quantum entanglement. He's trying to turn back the clock, but something went wrong. The field must be uncontained, which would explain the time slips and what happened to him. I thought you said large body entanglement wasn't possible. Yeah, well, maybe he proved me wrong. Cash. No, if Deckard initiated, there is no telling what effects it could have. Arbitrary leaps forwards and backwards in one minute, it's now, and then zap, it's three days ago. Anyway, it is the only thing that can describe what has been happening to me. Not the only thing. Don't start that again. Again? Never mind. Can you just take me to my mom's? Are you sure you want to go to jo your mom's? Yes, I Josh, please. Just to my mom's. Okay, thanks for the ride. I'm gonna go try and figure out what the hell went wrong with Deckard's equations, but I will call you later. What if I told you there was a way to see Brian again? Perhaps even change what happened? I'd say you're as crazy as me. <laughs> Unless time is a multiplanar construct, hmm? Your senior thesis positive... That thesis was theoretical. It was for a grade. Yes, but you did prove something, hmm? source for all these time slips. They call themselves the Quantum Initiative Group. The website's pretty generic. They say they deal with Einstein's unified field theory, quantum entanglement, and time displacement. With their multi-billion dollar defense funding, there is a military aspect to all of this. I'm headed there right now to see if I can get some answers. Is this new? Posted to our blog site two days ago, but showed up here just now. You know what that means. She's getting close. Deckard won't be pleased. That is the least of my concerns right now. And neither will our benefactors. We need to do another ESR treatment. You do realize that those treatments can cause amnesia. If she finds her way in here, we're... I am very close to getting the equation from this one. When I do, all this goes away. Come! Peter? Carol! Hey, you have a minute? Yeah, is everything all right? Well, I'm not sure, actually. I just had a rather unusual encounter at the beach with my daughter. How so? Uh, there was something different about her. I don't really know how to describe it, but... I don't know, she just wasn't herself. I was wondering, has she said anything to you I should know about? Well, aside from grieving for your prognosis, no. Have you discussed this with Charles? Mm. He hasn't been around much since the cancer. Mm. 
No, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm just, I'm worried about her. I mean, she came down from the car to tell me she missed me as if I was already gone. After we had just seen each other, not two minutes before. This may seem like an odd question, but uh, did this Cassandra look like she might be an older version of herself? What? Are you familiar with closed time-like curves? I think Charles might have mentioned them, but no. He's, well, Einstein's relativity theory describes gravity as the warping of space-time by energy and matter. So therefore, a powerful gravitational field or even possibly an electromagnetic field could conceivably bend time back upon itself, creating a loop or a closed time-like curve. Now, enter the loop tomorrow, and theoretically, you could come back out today or last year. I'm sorry, what does this have to do with Cassie? Well, we've been running simulations to resolve the grandfather paradox, and we experienced that unusual electromagnetic pulse at the school that was triggered remotely. We were unable to locate the source, but I suspect someone may have taken our simulations a step further. Meaning? The equations in your daughter's thesis notes may have actually solved the paradox. But they're untested, and now they're missing, and you said Charles has been absent. Could he have taken them and induced an entanglement? I suppose, but I highly doubt he would risk it. The man may be a lot of things, but reckless is not one of them. Well, nevertheless, he must be found. The slightest miscalculation could cause all manner of troubles. Recurring time slips, loops within loops, causality, trying to self-rectify. It's very dangerous. No sense. This isn't right. Brian? Brian? You, I swear.
Dad? Hello, Cassandra. It's all that ruckus down here. Why aren't you at school? What? Well, you're never going to win the Nobel for physics if you don't graduate. Have you been upstairs this whole time? I have a lot of work. <sighs> of course you do. All right. OK. So how is my little time thief? Don't call me that. Why? You're not still trying to steal back time for your mother? Nothing's going to change what happened? No. What are you suggesting? <sighs> Forget it. You know, I loved your mother as much as you. You loved yourself. And the idea of a family. Nothing more. Deckard's doing it. What? Stealing time. He's created a displacement field. And I have been sucked into it somehow. I don't know who or what else has, but the fact that I am here right now, there's a control problem. It has to be stopped. Wait a minute. What are you saying? I'm not exactly sure. My memory has been fragmented. But time is fractured. It's been shifting all around me. And you think Peter Deckard did this? Are those my thesis notes? What are you doing with this? You gave them to me. No, I didn't. I remember specifically not giving these to you. I don't believe this. You're helping him. Using my equations, my work. Cassandra. Brian dies if you go through with this. So does Deckard. Sandra, what are you doing? You can't initiate without the entire equation. Maybe this will stop it from ever happening. Cassie, don't. The negation point isn't here. It isn't now. Damn it. <sighs> the hell is wrong with you? That was our only hope of correcting it. What? The experiment's been ongoing for two years now, and yes, I am aware of the recent anomalies. I was working out a correction for them when you came in here. And given that you're still here, standing in front of me, at least this version of you, I can only assume that nothing significant has changed. But... <sighs> you may have just made things much worse. You lie to me? And now you try and blame me? I hate you. Hey. Hey, talking. 
to Fuhan. Yeah, listen. The equations that you're working on with Deckard are wrong. They make no sense. I need you to find out everything you can on negation points. Why? It's just something my father said. He's involved with Deckard, and I think they launched a quantum experiment using my thesis notes and screwed it up somehow. Just research it and get back to me, okay? Yeah, 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 sure. Thanks. Okay. Cassie, what are you doing? You're asking me that? So, tell me more about breaking the rules, hmm? My thesis. Go on. It's what Brian wanted to steal. My equations. But, uh... It's not in this workbook anymore. I mean, the, the, there's a page missing. Yeah. I destroyed it. Why? My father. Oh, Cassie. Your father was very proud of you. He lied to me. I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. You know, it's true, he was very driven, I mean, to a fault. But you know, he saw in you... He saw me as a solution to a physics problem. And Brian saw me. <sighs> or so I thought. You deserve better than this. And that's why, that's why we brought you here to, we took you from that room and brought you here to be safe from the police, from your father. You know, he, he's put in motion something that's very, very dangerous and a, a lot of people could get hurt, perhaps even worse. And that is why I want to ask you to to recreate those equations for me, hmm? Why? Why? <laughs> Why should I recreate them? Well, think, think of the good you can do, the wrongs you can right, I mean. You think they work? Just like my father, you think these equations actually work? Yes, yes, we do. No. What? You just want to steal my work. <laughs> you are just like my father.
what's in her head. We can't locate the negation point, and we certainly cannot control entanglement. What part of screw don't you understand? We're on the verge of a massive metastability event. Oh, we are on the verge of a breakthrough that could lead to everything we've been attempting since 1943. Oh, Philadelphia, the Eldridge, right. I didn't end too well, as I recall. Oh, I am trying to save lives. So am I. You know anyone caught in the normal to a displacement vector under these conditions will cook their insides. No one will survive. And without that building's retrofit completed? Look, how the hell did this happen? You said you had everything handled. She deviated from our behavior model. It escalated. No one knew about the gun. And we didn't expect the memory block. We'll take care of it or I will. It's too dangerous. Reliving the event might actually do us some good. You want to toss her back into the middle of a ruptured entanglement field? Look, if we miss this window, then it's not just her that's at risk. Now, this place, it, it can't protect us yet, and I am not losing anybody else. If you do this, she'll be flying blind again. Won't remember a thing. So, give her a trigger. I, I don't know, change things, uh, change the venue, but induce the hypothermia. And, uh, if you ever, ever question me again, next time, you'll be the one in the ice bath. Here. Don't lose it this time.
I'm sorry, Cash. It was you. You broke the rules. Sometimes there are second chances. They say that time is relative. But death... Hey guys, so I woke up in another ice bath. This time I'm at my mom's house. The memory is a little bit clearer, but it's still pretty much like a black hole in there. Something's missing. But I do know this. Josh is involved. Totally lied to me. And I'm pretty sure that he's behind all of these ice baths and that he knows exactly what this note means. Find the initiative. So I think I found the source for all of these time slips. They call themselves the Quantum Initiative Group. Website's pretty generic. They say they deal with Einstein's unified field theory, quantum entanglement, and time displacement. With their multi-billion dollar defense funding, there is a military aspect to all of this. I'm headed there right now to see if I can get some answers. Hey, Cass. Josh. Long time, how are you? Hey. What's going on? Something, something's really weird. Can you meet me at RJ's? No, RJ's, I can't, I'm gonna be late for work. Brian's dead, Josh. I think someone killed him, please. Okay, no, I'll be there. Thank you, it's some... Um... Okay. I need to see you. I'll be there. Time slips seem to be repeating a pattern, some sort of self-rectifying mechanism or something. Forces at work trying to change causality, but if I can make it to the diner before Josh gets there, I think, I think that I can change some things. Guess 
say, what are you doing? You're asking me that? Apparently, the initiative group has another more secret facility that Josh works in. I can't believe I actually trusted him this whole time. I'm assuming that this is where they took me to interrogate me. Where the whole thing originated. starting to feel the effects of what I believe to be pear proximity. Going to the cafeteria. Cafeteria. The body is beginning to break down whenever I'm near the other me. I just really hope I can live out long enough to stop this whole thing at its source. No. What? You just want to steal my work. You are just like my father. Without what's in her head, we can't locate the negation point, and we certainly cannot control entanglement. Of 
time. Hey guys, quantum inducers hardwired directly into the university's pulse magnifier. No triggering software Wi-Fi directly from this laptop to the lab. Tanglement laser is online. Negation point computations entered. Hypothermic protective bath prepared. Ready to change history? So, apparently, this is all my fault. But if you guys were watching these from the beginning, then you would already know that. Except for the fact that they've taken all of my blogs off of my personal site. That must be why they're so interested in me. Weaponize the technology or something. I'm headed to the hotel right now to see if I can stop this from ever happening. Depending exactly on what time I am actually in. Say, what are you doing? You're asking me that? Why did you steal this? 
Baby, I was just trying to protect you. You lied to me. It's not what it looks like. It looks like a loaded fucking gun, Brian, and my workbook. You're misunderstanding this. They said you die, that we both die. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Did my father put you up to this? No. Don't lie to me, Brian. Baby, I'm not lying to you. Then yours. Was it yours? Baby, listen to yourself, all right? Look, I get it, all right? You're scared, no, all right? No, Brian, you have no idea what scared is. None. You know, scared is not knowing what fucking day or year it is, or what is even real anymore, or who you can trust. Baby, you can you can trust me. You've always been able to trust me, right? I mean, look, I'm scared too, all right? These guys, they've been following me, threatening me, showing up at my work. We need to keep these out of the wrong hands. The initiative is the wrong hands. I know, baby. I'm with you on this, all right? But if, if you if you solve these formulas, right, it, it all starts over. We go back to zero the way things no, were. No, Brian, no. No, no, that is not how this works. They are using my equations for their own ends, defense contracts, government experiments, as a weapon. Okay, okay. So what was the plan? For you to steal my work and hand it over to them? Baby, you can't, you can't think that. You can't think that. Just tell me something, Brian. Okay, okay, well, what? Was this all bullshit? Us, was this a whole thing, was it bullshit? No, baby, no. Listen to me, I love you. I loved you from the day we met, right? I've always loved you, I'll always love you, so let's just go, all right? We don't need any of this, we don't need anything. Just walk out the door and we go, okay? That's it. And change the outcome. Okay? Okay. That is what I have been trying to do, Brian, because then you don't die. Wait, what do you mean I, I die? You die, Brian, you get shot. You get shot with this gun. That is what I've been trying to tell you. But I am not gonna let that happen. No bullets. No bullets, okay, you, you don't. You don't get shot, you don't die, and you don't die, then maybe we can change the outcome. <sighs> Brian? Baby, I, I don't get shot. What? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong, baby? Baby, baby, <laughs> baby, 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 Brian! Brian! All right, sedate her and get the truck. Administer another ESR treatment, then bring her to the secondary location. Okay. I'll clean up this mess. What is this? It's a safe place. Look, uh, 
I know this is difficult, but I want to help. Electroshock helps. Electrostatic reorientation. It, it helps align you with the time gradient, but uh, you know that already, don't you? What else do you remember? Brand chance? Yes. You remember Brian? Of course. He was my boyfriend. Yes. He's dead. Indeed. You cared about him. What? This is more than just business. You actually care. Who are you? Really? I think you know the answer to that, Cassie. Did Brian? No. And I, and I want it to stay that way. Look, I, w I was young, you know? I, I was ambitious. I was... I was very much like you. And, uh... Motherhood didn't. Motherhood didn't fit into my grand plan. But I loved Brian very much. Very much. Which is why you must remember the equation. Restore the balance. And you'll reset the timeline. You'll save Brian. This isn't the same. Hmm? This place, this is different than last time. This is my mom's. Yes. Yes, it is. I, uh... I thought if I, if I gave you something familiar to sort of... If... Trigger. Something. Yeah. <gasps> Cassie, no! I cannot trust you with that equation. Then trust yourself. You have the answer. You have it. You just gotta find the negation point. It'll give you the probable time and place you need to be. You must find it. You must negate.
Brandon, if that's you, I'm... What? Negation. I know when and where, but how do I negate? You shouldn't be here. Professor, I need your help. Well, you still don't realize there's too much of you in this place, Cassandra, and we're all paying the price. You broke the rules, dear. You tried to do something that's not allowed. You can't travel in time without changes in causation. Did you think there'd be no consequences? Then tell me what I need to do. The temporal force is weakened. The probabilistic inertia is losing its integrity. The field will rupture. I need to repair the mess you wrought, force a correction, and then ride out the resulting shitstorm back to the beginning in my own ice bath and make sure you never initiate like I should have done in the first place. This does not end well for you. I gotta repair the breach. Or the initiative will lose its precious defense funding? You created a split. More than one. None of them are stable. None of them are complete. It's you, Cassandra. It's you that must be negated. Hey, Einstein. Hey. Hey, so you know what you said about negation points, right? Where you have a photon, and you split it, and it turns into a positron and an electron pair, and they circle back around and destroy each other, right? Right. OK, so when it negates, it creates a photon back in time, which may be the original photon. Right. OK, so check this out. Some believe that the photon may carry the experiences of the particle pair, AKA it remembers the future. And then could alter that future. Listen to me. Do not let Decker go through with what he is doing in there. You need to stop him now. But what are you going to do? I need to borrow your bike. So if the new photon carries the experiences of the time-traveling pair, I need to save Brian. I need to at least change that outcome. Brian! Hey. Change of plans. Don't go to the hotel. Why? Just meet me at urgent care. Why, are you all right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm fine. Just trust me. Oh, okay. Okay. Love you. I love you too. Be there. All right. Nancy, it's me. Dad, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. I deserve that. But you know what? You're no saint. Wonder where I got that imprint. Fair enough. I've caused a lot of damage. Especially between us, and for that I am deeply sorry, but I did not give your mother cancer, and I most certainly did not cause all of this. I've been trying to correct it. By pretending to be homeless? They came after me. Needed to be invisible. Nobody sees the homeless. photo was taken a year before mom died. But you wouldn't know that because you left. All she wanted to do was see the ocean one last time, and I couldn't even give her that. Do you know how that makes me feel? Carrying that weight around? Actually, I do. Look at the date stamp. I don't understand. This is only two weeks before she died. Because you did it. You defeated the paradox, Cassie. I've been shadowing you, watching your progress each time through, saying you learn a little bit more, each time getting closer to the truth. Making sure the initiative didn't? Why do you think I removed those videos from your server? So the ice bath... To protect you from dilation. It slows your body's molecular process. That didn't work on Deckard. Of course it didn't. Magnetic field is programmed to your cryptochrome proteins. Cryptochromes? What helps birds orient during migration? Exactly. So theoretically, we could adapt our own to navigate through the displacement field. You altered the timeline. That photograph is proof. Look outside. Oh, my 
my God. You too. You know, even Einstein took a break once in a while. Yeah, I'm. I've been so busy. I'm sorry. You don't like to hear this, but you remind me so much of your father. I always felt like a mistress to his science spouse. I won't let that be me. I promise. No, no, I'm not complaining. No, I wouldn't change any of it. He's doing important work are you. Don't ever forget that. We all have to make sacrifices to fulfill our destinies. This destiny was mine. Don't let anyone deny yours. Ever. Most especially yourself. I was gonna wait on this, but since we're both here, happy early graduation, sweetheart. <laughs> Open it. I was told it was one of a kind. Very, very special. For a very special girl. You're so beautiful. I'm gonna print and frame this. I want you to keep it near my urn when I'm gone. Will you make sure and do that? we had more time. I know. Me too. But remember, you'll never have a future if you cling too hard to the past. Enjoy your beach. <laughs>
I'll be up in a while. It's you, Cassandra. It's you who must be negated. Think of the good you can do, the wrongs you can right. Cassie, no! Jesus, what the hell? What are you doing? I'm fixing it! There's only one way this ends, Josh. You don't know that! You've changed things, we've changed no, things. it's over! Give me the gun. What the hell is wrong with you? You wanted this. Discoveries are meant to be tested, remember? Change history, see your mom? You were obsessed. I was wrong. OK, we all lose people, Josh, but that doesn't justify what I've done. OK, but, but we did it. Don't you remember right here in this room, the two of us? Just because we could, Josh. Jesus, you're gonna quote Oppenheimer next? I am become death? No, actually, Krishna. I am become time. Destroyer of worlds. Don't you understand? This way, I could be with you. That's what this is about? I'm just protecting you. I don't need your protection! Cassie! Cassie! Cassie, they thought fucking with your brain was a good idea! Implanting screen memories to make you think you shot Brian! Stealing your work! I'm saving you from these clowns! I've been saving you! I don't need to be saved! What the hell is going on here? Yeah, what is he doing here? What? What, what are you doing? What, are you doing? what, what is he doing here? Supposed, daddy, supposed, daddy, supposed daddy, to be Brian. Daddy, what is he doing here? Daddy, you're supposed to be Brian. What are you doing? Daddy, come on, Dad, stop! Give me the gun! You help. We gotta get you help. Let me no, see. Let me no, see. No. Let me. Let me. Cassie, Cassie, Daddy, no. please. Negation. I came to warn you. The place is here. But. Uh, it's 
not quite time. Save me? Shoot me. Do it. Negation. Josh, reset the timeline. Do it. Shoot me. This whole exercise has brought me nothing but pain. Everyone I care about is gone. Shoot me. No, let's, let's get out no, of here. No, I'm not going anywhere, Josh. No, no. 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 I'm not going anywhere. Get out of I my know. way, you Josh. You can restore balance to whatever Deckard or Dr. Miles told you, but if you close the loop, you'll be lost forever. Let me save you. I don't want to be with you. Then why did you bring me along? You knew having me close could help you. We're a perfect team, Cass. We could, we could be that way forever. Can't you see? I've loved you since we were kids. I need you. Negation is not the only answer. We, we, we can figure out another way. Pairs destroy themselves, Josh. It's the only way. <sighs> what? Bleeding.
my world, time is relative. All right, put the video camera over there. Are you sure about this? You're kind of rushing, you know? Discoveries are meant to be tested, Josh. Well, maybe you should leave the past in the past. Put the video camera over there and hit record. Okay, guys. Quantum inducer is hardwired directly into the university's pulse magnifier. Remote triggering software is Wi-Fi directly from this laptop into the lab. Entanglement laser is online. Negation point computations entered. And hypothermic protective bath is prepared. Ready to change history? Deja vu or something. You know, I think I'm gonna run these by my dad. Your father? I thought you said... Just something doesn't seem right. I know he's a jerk, but... He's the smartest jerk that I know. <sighs> I can't keep blaming him for my mom. Where did that come from? Did someone body snatch the real Cassie? Because I def I don't recognize this person. Who, who are you? Trust me. 